นไหมคะ Okay, I don't want to wait for other people anymore because I'm quite hungry now. So this is for my breakfast. By the way, สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Gail from Asia Scenic Thai Cooking School. Okay, and uh, now is about 8:30 a.m. Okay, in the morning, and uh, I want to cook. Breakfast for myself again, but you know Thai people, we we don't have a specific breakfast. We don't have like uh, the food for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. But we can eat anything for our breakfast. It, it doesn't matter. Like today, I gonna cook curry. <laughs> okay, I gonna cook curry for for my breakfast. It sounds crazy, but it's tasty. Okay, and you know, um, actually, you guys. No, it's only curry, just like a curry soup. But actually, in Thailand, we have many kinds of curry. We can make curry like a soup, as you know. Um, we can make curry like stir fry. We're gonna cook stir fry curry today, and we cook um, steam curry. Okay, we cook steam curry in banana leaf or in the whole coconut, something like that. And if we have time. Like for the next time, maybe I show you for the steam curry. But today, this morning, I show you about the stir fry curry. So we're gonna use red curry paste. This is red curry paste from my customer a few days ago. Okay, they're making red curry, so this is the rest from them. Okay, red curry paste to make red curry. Red curry paste to make um what else? Khao soy curry, you know khao soy. Khao soy is like a northern curry in Thailand, and red curry for Penang curry. So today we use this red curry for stir fry curry. Okay, and for this menu you can use pork, chicken, or trim. But I have chicken in my refrigerator, so this morning I use chicken. And then for the vegetable, actually you can use any vegetable, but I use this one. Can you see this one in Thai? We call star. Who knows star? Okay, in Thai we call star. It's it's like a bitter bean. Uh huh. But actually you can use you can use long bean or carrot or baby corn or any crunchy vegetable instead of. This one. So actually, mostly I use long bean, but today I got this one for my friend because this bean, sato or bitter bean, is is traditional. It's original from south of Thailand. Okay, and this one, kaffir lam, k a f f i r, kaffir lam. Okay, if but if you have not this one, you can skip it. Okay, but we have we have um the fresh kaffir lam here. And lamb. If you use a uh, sato, it's quite strong smell. It's, it's it's quite strong green smell. So we use lamb to cover the the green smell. And this one, palm sugar. We add sugar. We don't want to make sweet flavor, but we want to balance the flavor because we add fish sauce. If we cook something salty, a uh, little bit sugar balance the flavor. Okay, this one and we use palm sugar. Um, it's more flavor than you use the regular sugar. But if you have no palm sugar, use the regular sugar. Okay, come here closer. For the seasoning, for the seasoning, oil. You can use any vegetable oil. We use soy bean oil, but. Uh, you might use large oil. Okay, you might use large oil, but this morning I use this one. So you've been oil, but sometimes, sometimes I use large oil for fried rice. It's good. It's good. It just depends on, and fish sauce that's important, more important. So I remind you again about the um, ingredients. Okay, a little bit closer. This. Red curry paste. I will show you for the quantity of all ingredients in a uh, description box. Okay, and this one, palm sugar, lamb. If you use sato, 
chicken, pork or trim, vegetable, star or long bean or carrot, baby corn, whatever you have, and this one, cut the lamp leaf. Okay, so we started. So turn on the gas. Um, by the way, cooking Thai food, I cook outside. This is Thai kitchen. It should be like an outdoor kitchen because the smell is very strong. Okay, I don't want to, to cook outside. Okay, so we have to turn on the gas, but we use gas like this and turn it on. Okay, and come here, please, closer. Then add oil about one tablespoon, one tablespoon. Heat the oil for the Y. This is for breakfast. It's crazy, but Thai people will eat like this. Eat with rice, it's okay. And then add the curry paste. Quantity of the curry paste, this depends on you. But if you don't eat too spicy, maybe you can put a little bit, but I'm Thai, I eat quite spicy. This one is tea, one tablespoon. Stir it until, smell it, background. We fry the um, red curry paste and oil because we want to bring up bring out the flavor of the red curry paste until it smells like this and then add the chicken but actually this menu if you have prawn, prawn is the best one this one I cook for two persons that's why I put quite a lot I cook for two person and also we cook for breakfast and lunch because Thai people like uh, for the family we don't want to cook like uh, just meal by meal if we stay with the big family we cook big portion for breakfast for lunch or something like that try to mix well if it's too dry add water Don't add too much water, we don't want to make a curry soup. We don't want to add more oil, that's why after oil, first time we add water. And then palm sugar, fish sauce. Fish salt for salty flavor. But Thai people, we don't use salt for salty, but we use fish salt. And try to mix well. And then we soak the vegetable in the water because it uh, prevents turn brown. Especially if you use eggplant carrot or something like that. See now you use high heat then mix all together. Mix together until it's dry. And for, for the sata or bitter bean it's quite strong green smell. We add lamb, we add lamb a little bit. We don't want to make sour flavor, but we want to cover the smell. This is a technique, my technique to squeeze the lamb to get more juice. And test. It's supposed to be spicy, salty, sweet. The main flavor is supposed to be spicy, salty, and a little bit sweet. Okay, this is um, um, stir-fried curry. All stir-fried curry is supposed to be like this. And this one, good. Perfect. Okay. And 
Do it until it's dry. Do it until it's dry. And then cassia lamb leaf. This is a um, cassia lamb leaf. It's like a two in one leaf. It's different from lamb leaf. If you have no cassia lamb leaf, can we use cassia lamb? Uh, if you have no cassia lamb leaf, can we use lamb leaf? It's okay. I think it's okay. But um, cassia lamb leaf is strongest flavor. Fold the leaf in half and spread the stem off. Put it like this. We don't use the stem. Just tear it. Okay, but few leaf. Few leaf. I used to travel in Portugal. I saw some of uh, my students. She grow cassalam leaf, this leaf in her garden, in her house. It works. You might do something like this in, in your house if the weather is good because protocol is not, not too cold. Okay. Mix together. And <laughs> taste again. Taste again. Again, the flavor is supposed to be spicy, salty, and sweet. It's good. Why it take time? Because um, the bean is, is take time to cook. Okay, just like this. And then turn off the gas. Turn off the gas and This one is not spicy, not, not too spicy for me, but anyway, I serve with <laughs> rice, ah, brown rice and boiled egg, uh-huh, boiled egg in the morning and we top like this. This is my, this is my Breakfast. This is my breakfast. Okay, it's easy, fast to cook. So when I cook my food in in my house, but I want to show you how to cook it and what I eat in in Thai style. This is like a not in the class, not in the class. But sometimes thought in the class is like a tourist tourist class or something like this. But actually. Um, in the class, you use the same recipe as I use in my house, and this is a real life for you. This is my breakfast. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.